Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. East Central Indiana officers are expected to attend the funeral of an Indianapolis police officer who died in the line of duty. Officer Timothy Laird was killed Wednesday in a gun battle that left four other officers wounded. Laird leaves behind a wife and seven-year-old daughter. His grandparents live in Richmond. A stepbrother lives in Liberty. Laird's funeral is Monday. More than 2,000 officers are expected to attend. Last week, migrant workers made news when weather forced many to go without work in area tomato fields. Newslink Indiana's Jill Crean reports on how one worker is coping with this season's hardships. As the growing season comes to a close, farmers are starting to hire migrant workers for the harvest. Basically, we don't drive tractors or nothing like that. It's, it's mostly labor work. While the idea of seeing the country may appeal to some, Jose says there's pitfalls to being a migrant worker. Basically, no. The majority, as far as per year, you only get like under 10000 a year or something. The plight of the migrant worker has become harder in recent years as technology has stepped in to help pick the produce. It's a machine that picks up the tomatoes and, uh, you know, you, you know, it cuts down on people working and, and, and you're on like, like in a, a little packing house, but you're on a tracker and you're uh, picking out the green tomatoes and the rotten tomatoes and rocks or whatever. Since migrant workers' days are weather permitting, it is common for workers to go weeks without making a penny, meaning workers have to depend on charity groups like St. Martin's and Marion. St. Martin's was um, opened in 1967 with a $50 donation to actually feed migrant workers. Um, since then, we continue to help the migrant population when they come through. If it wasn't people like this, that, that we, we come and get clothes and, you know, food and stuff like that, you know, we'd be in a bind. Jose and his friends have been out of work for four weeks, and they hope to be back in the field soon. Jill Crehan, Newslink, Indiana. And Jose thinks he should be able to get back to work next week once the rainy weather has passed. Now here's a look at the Newslink Indiana forecast. Get your umbrella out. You're going to need it for the next 24 hours. Tonight there's a 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be muggy. Look for the low to drop to 65. Tomorrow a 90% chance we'll see rain. It could be heavy at times. The high will be 78. But we dry out and cool down in the five-day forecast. We'll only see the low 70s on Saturday. But there will be a gradual warm up back into the 80s for the work week. Next chance of rain is Monday afternoon. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 tonight for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.